What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today, what we're going to do is claim our Foot Champs rewards first and foremost. We got gold one against my better judgement. I, I shouldn't have played up to gold one dudes, I should have just stopped while I was ahead previously. Um, I, I got to 18 and 6, I should have just called it a day there. I battled through some horrendous gameplay, I uh, didn't enjoy it at all. Um, but now I'm kind of glad that I did it because those two 100k packs are going to be nice. Rightfully so, as explained in the last video. Now is actually as good a time as any to open these uh, these 100k packs. Just because, um, just because gold cards, mostly 80 rated or higher gold cards right now, are all selling for extreme amounts of cash. Uh, well, coins rather. So what we're going to do is we're going to open these 7 packs, then we're going to go do the marquee matchups, then we'll open those packs. And then we'll do the um, the footies SBCs. So it's going to be no gameplay for today's video. I might double upload today and do my first foot champs game live again. That might come on Saturday. I don't know. So we'll start with the prime gold players pack. No walkout. That's not too bad though. I just I kind of just need players to either sell on, um, get some good value out, or to use for the SBCs. And the fact that our highest rated card here is 79 doesn't bode very well for me. Um, but hopefully we get some nice players to be able to use here in um, the SBCs. We actually get one rare silver and two silvers. So straight off the bat that wasn't so great. We've also got this 50k pack that is untradeable that we picked up from the offline tournament. So all of the players in this pack will and can be used in SBCs just because they are um, they are untradeable. So there's, you know, they're not gonna be usable, so why not use them in SBCs? They're not gonna be like usable to be played with in that sense. Um, so there's some nice players here for marquee matchups. I know Juventus player is important. Um, I don't know about Liverpool, I know Man United is important as well. We'll send those dudes to the club anyway. And then five 100K packs. I mean, best case scenario, we get a legend, right? Or, you know, a, Super high rated Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar. What we get off the bat is an 86 rated Vincent Company. Uh, so I will be selling him on straight away. He will have some good value, maybe around. Two Ooh, whoa, that's actually not bad at all. This is why people told me to open these packs. 86 Company. We're looking at 17,000 coins. He's almost extinct. Bang, job done. I'll take that. 85 Socrates. We're looking at 9,000 coins. He's almost also ex basically extinct. 9,500 for Socrates. Bang. Job done. 85. Christian Eriksen. Maybe 10,000 coins for him. I'm happy with that. We'll list him up 10,400. Glick. We'll list up four. There you go. One of them sold already. Looks like he's going for maybe 8,000 coins. All right. So 4.5k bid on him there. So we'll pop him up for 8,000 coins. And Conor Plianka, I'm half tempted to keep because he's 83 rated. If he goes for like crazy coins, oh, I mean, the dude looks like he's about 5,000 coins. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll sell him for 5,000 coins. Screw that. Boom. And I will keep the rest because I'm going to need some of them for my own SPCs. Uh, we'll sell them afterwards. Uh, you know, after I've, after, after I've done everything that I need to do, I'll go back through the club and sell everything. But look at that. We are making money hand over fist. Walk out. I beg you, EA, give me a big player. Legend! No way! English. Centre back. Ferdinand. I beg it's Ferdinand. See this carrot as carrot. When you see English from a legend, you're just immediately disheartened. But it's Jamie Carragher. It's a legend. It's at least 100,000 bonus coins. You can't complain about that. If it was Rio Ferdinand, I swear to God, I would have shit the bed. Excuse my French. He's there for a minimum of 118. After, like, he discards for 103, right? So after tax on 118, uh, you're looking at about... If I listed him for 110, I'd pay 6k tax. And that's basically his quick sell value. I'm actually, I'm legitimately going to discard him. I'm going to send everything else into the club. <laughs> I'm going to send everything into the club. I'm going to put Boney and Gonzalez up to the tray pile. And I kid you not, I am going to discard the legend that I just packed. How about that? Jamie Carragher gone. As quick as he came in the club, 
He went out of the club. And I, I will show you guys again. Let me show you why I discarded him. Jamie Carragher is not even selling for 118,000, right? Uh, Jamie Carragher. 118,000, he's not even selling. There's two of them there. Three of them there. There's three of them there for 118,000. So for me to actually be able to sell him, I'd have to list him up for about 110, maybe 112 to get a sale on him. Nobody wants to buy him because he's trash. Only people buy him that would be using him for a squad builder that would then try and, try and sell him on again. And due to the tax implications of selling him for 110,000 coins, 110,000 coins after tax would be 104,500 and I discarded him for 103,800 or whatever. So I literally only would have gained 700 coins more by selling him for 110,000 than discarding him for 103,000 whatever. And I like the fact that I was on a Road to Glory account. I like the fact that I discarded a legend. It just pleases me. It pleases me that I had it in me to discard a legend. It was already worth it opening these 100k packs. The amount of money that we are making off of these is crazy. To whoever, to all of you that suggested to me to open these uh, open these packs. We're going to get eight, maybe 7,000 for... Uh, for Turan there. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll save the rest as well. I'll save some of the 83s and stuff just because I, I may well need them uh, myself in SBCs. Oh, Neto's going to actually have some good value because he's a Juventus player and he's 80 rated. So he might be worth a... Tell me he's 7,000 coins. We're up to 20 minutes and there's not one cheaper than 7,000 coins. Tell me he's 7,000... That's 7,000 there. Oh my god. 5,000, okay, so 4,000 coins. Nearly, maybe five, I can list them up for like 4,500. That is mental. That is mental, guys. And this is why you guys told me to uh, open my 100K packs, is because exactly this reason. I am making so many coins now. And again, all of these, are like Carrick, is going to be worth a crap ton. Because Man United players right now, okay, not a crap ton per se, uh, but more than what it'd usually be worth. Ooh, we get the Byron Toliso. Does he go for something? Four, I, I will sell him for 4,000 coins. Hell yeah. Give me that 4,000 coins. Have we got any... Ooh, we got the Chelsea Bakayoko. I'm going to have to go back through the players and see if I missed out on any of these. There's one there for 1,300. I'll list the Bakayoko up for, uh, let's say, uh, 2,800, 2,700. We get the transferred Pickford and the transferred Elia. That's not bad. Now, Pickford doesn't have much value, so we'll hold on to him for now. And I, I can't imagine Elliot has much value either. Yeah, like literally discard price. Um, nothing else there is transfer players. We get another Olivier Giroud that we can sell. And that Luke Shaw is going to be worth a crap ton as well. Olivier Giroud is 5,000 coins. Guys, I'm, whoever, whoever like encouraged me, for all of you that encouraged me to open these 100k packs because of the value of gold cards right now this is why you told me to do it and you were all correct it doesn't matter what would have been in packs in the future you know the game's coming to a close there's not going to be many promos the MLS all stars at best this is why we opened them we only got the one walkout but it was a legend Jamie Carragher and let me tell you it was fun to get him. Just an insta 100,000 coins, just like that. So Javier Pastore there, look at that, 7,000 coins. I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'll list him up for 9,000. I'll list Koke up for 9,000. See, I might have to go, this, this is the problem, I might have to go and buy some players. No, see, I'm not, I'm not buying players, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a red card that I've got to get value. I'm gonna send all of those dudes into the club for now. Per Mertesacker at 83 rated is going to be worth something. Four, five thousand coins. Look at that. That's insane. Six thousand coins for Per Mertesacker, guys. Three thousand coins for Savage. We'll list him up for 2,500. We'll put Martins up there. I literally have made an utter, utter killing. And we haven't even done the SBCs yet. That's the greatest thing of it all, I think. We haven't even we haven't even sold everything that we could sell. We haven't even done the SBCs that we could do. Let's go and have a look at these squad building challenges. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the marquee matchups. 
Oh, I've still got to do Loyal Lads as well. How long have we got on that? Five days on that. I'm going to use the upgrade packs to get the cards for Loyal Lads uh, because they're just so expensive right now. So Byron versus Milan. The reason why these are quite good is because, like, it's, it's just easy, right? So you, you go, we go uh, like this. We go, we go to Calcio A first and go and get Milan. Now, I know I've got some Milan players because, obviously, I, I just packed a load of them. Um, so we start off with these. We've got the transferred silver there as well. And then we'll go for Bayern as well. Bayern Munich. So I only have one. I only have this bronze Bayern player. That's crazy. I have all of those. Um, we'll take a look at how much Barini is. Because as a Milan player, he might just be worth a crap ton right now. Not so much because he's low rated. Same with Silver and Donnarumma. They might not be worth too much because I need an 80 rated squad here. So Silver looks like he might be worth about four, no, 3,000 coins. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll list mine up for 20, uh, 2400 there. If he sells, he sells. That's great. Uh, Barini, I'll keep... Eh. No, Barini is an AC Milan player. Let's, let's, let's list him up for uh, 2,000 coins. And we'll try and sell him for 2,000. Perfect there. Donnarumma as well is, is going to be uh, relatively... Okay, so he's like maybe 17, 1800 coins. So we'll list him up for like uh, 1800 like that. Um... Sosa, I, I'm, I'm going to sell Sosa and I'm going to use Bonaventura, I think. Sosa's 2,000. If Bonaventura is over 4,000, I'll, I'll sell him. He is 4,000 coins. I'm going to sell him for 4,000, guys. I'll make it work some other way. Again, I'll use red cards. I don't care. I would rather the coins off of these. So we'll put Sosa in. That's the Milan player. We'll put this guy in. That's the Bayern player. Now we need 85 chemistry. So, do we use Bundesliga players? Who do I have as these untradables? Do I have any untradable Bundesliga? Oh yeah, so we've got uh, Bojan there, who's 82 rated, so really helped with the rating. Um, and any Calcio A untradables that we picked up? Neto, 80 rated. That's not bad as well. So I do need a, um, I do need a, a team here for chemistry, for 85 chemistry. And I'm gonna struggle, I think, because I don't have the necessary players available that are high enough rated. Like, I could use De Rossi, Mandzukic, Barat. I've got a lot of 80, 80 81s and, and hires here, so we might we might be able to get away with it. Berardi in there. Um, we'll put Immobile up there. We'll put De Rossi... Put De Rossi in there. He obviously gets a, a better chemistry. Now, I, I would probably prefer to try and sell some of the other players. So we've got Murillo in there. And Murillo's untradeable, is he? No, he is tradable. He's an 80 rated. Um, and I've got that other centre back in there. See, to complete all of these, what do you get? A rare gold pack for this. How much has Foot been saying this is? What you get out of this, I, like I might wait to do the marquee matchups to be honest, bros, because these player prices are going to come down eventually. EA can't have the market like this. They will eventually do something. Yeah, marquee matchups is seventy thousand coins right now. You know what would be more in, in like just more clever is selling these cards and waiting until EA release some kind of special pack or something that that generates more players on the market. Because look at that. I'm going to use a, a, a Mandzukic instead of selling him for 4.5k? Hell no. Even like Immobile. I'm going to sell all of these dudes, dudes. I would actually rather sell them and take the, the coins instead of getting the packs from marquee matchups. It's, it's just far more beneficial. 2,000. Like we're looking at 3.5 to 4,000 coins for Berardi. There is no way, there is literally no way that EA are going to allow the market to sustain this kind of behaviour, right? They've got to do something to allow you to, to look at that fight. Come on, man. I was going to spend, I was going to spend more than the amount of, more than the value for the actual pack than I could have just bought the pack in the store. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. I could have bought a 25k pack. And sold all of these. Like, if I sold all these items, I could have then bought a 25k pack. There, there's absolutely no reason. Look at that. This dude's 2,000 coins, man. There's no reason for me to do this marquee matchups, especially not yet. Um, this guy I'll keep because he's uh, he's uh, common. Murillo will. Uh, I, I'm, I'll, I'll see if I can do. Um, I'll see if I can do. 
the loyal lads. Even if I have to use some of the, uh, even if I have to use some of the rare cards, I'll see if I could just get loyal lads done. I will probably do marquee matchups, just not now. You know, just not now. Um, in terms of loyal lads, what have I got? So we need, I need the same nation but different clubs from the same league that are centre mids or CDMs. So Henderson and Wilshire would work out pretty well, but I don't particularly want to. Um, I don't particularly want to use high-rated players as that. So we, let's let's have a look at centre backs first. What have we got for centre? If I've got, like I say, same nation but different clubs. Oh, look at that. See, again, I I can't I can't use Murtasaka. I have to sell Murtasaka because right now Murtasaka is selling for like five thousand, five and a half thousand, maybe six thousand coins. I, I I can't I can't you know what I mean? Just. Like, how much is Wilshire? If Wilshire and Henderson are less than 1,500 apiece, which they're not, they're like, well, Wilshire looks like he's about 3,000 coins. So we'll sell Wilshire for 3,000 coins. I'll go for a different league. I'm going to I'm gonna be able to do this anyway, right? I'll, I'll do it. So look at that. Like, 3,500 coins for Jordan Henderson. I, like, what? what is life right now? What is life? Robert Huth is selling four. Two and a half thousand coins, maybe. I don't know why. Let me have a look at all the centre backs that I've got. That'll probably be an easier way to do it. Let's just go to gold. We'll start with the low ones because the untradeables obviously would be more beneficial, right? So we've got a championship, a Mexican league, and a Spanish league. That doesn't really help too much. <clears throat> we got two from the same nation but from different leagues. That might be usable. I need the same nation. No, I need the same club but different nations is what we need. So let's have a look at, let's have a peruse of the clubs. And I actually don't think I have what I want. So I might have to buy a player or just use the upgrades. I probably could get away with it with Brazilians. Let, let's get these Brazilians in actually and we'll see if we've got a, let's go to, let's go to the Dutch league. And see if I've got a midfielder from the Dutch league. Let's, let's actually just have a look at sentiments. I might not be able to finish this completely. I might I might go and buy a couple players. No, you can't buy them. This it's literally called um, it's literally called this for the reason. So we could put him in there. Now, if we just had a Brazilian goalkeeper, I don't think I, it doesn't even have to be. Uh, oh, I have Neto, but I'm gonna save him for uh, what's it called? I have Julio Cesar. Is that same league? Do we already have... Right, so that's... Same nation is done there. All I need now... Same league is a maximum of three. And the same nations is... Nationalities is a minimum of four. So I need two different nations. So I need an Inter Milan... Centre... No, because then... Botta, yeah, see, the way, the way it has to be done is... I already have uh, Calcio A as well. Yeah, it's, it's easier to do the method that I had before. Let me have a look at how other people have done uh, Loyal Lads. You can get it done for three and a half thousand coins, apparently. Yeah, you like, that's what these guys have done. Same nation, different club, same nation, different club. And then, yeah, that, that, that's the way to do it. What I'm going to do, dudes, is I'm going to go and get... Um, I'm going to go and get two... Brazilian centre backs, or two. Ger I'm going to go and get two German centre backs from the same. Uh, let me clear this transfer list off first. Look how many coins we made. We started with 300. We've made over 300,000 coins so far, guys. Literally over 300,000 coins. How mental is that? We started with like 350,000 coins. Obviously, we've got 50,000 coins directly from the rewards. We've got 100,000 coins from the legends. And how much more have we made? Who knows? So what I want is I want to go to the Bundesliga. I might just have to do... No, see, I'm going to do the upgrades. I'm going to do the upgrades. It has to be same nation... Di yeah, I'm going to do the upgrades for these. I, I might... As <laughs> crazy as it seems, I might just end up not doing any, any of the other ones. Because I, I need all common cards. For Sané, he's the one that I don't need common cards for. Because I need an 83 rated squad. But once again... I can't justify using high-rated players for Sané. Who am I going to use? Carrasco, Giroud, Rulli. 
I can't justify using these for a dude that I don't care about. What I would rather do, what I'd genuinely rather do, is use... Um, so we need a, a high rated card here, so we'll use him. I would literally rather... How much are, are the SBCs? How much are like these? Like, Because I, I could use, for example, Fernandinho. Hazard is 200,000. Modric is 130. Dembele is... Oh, yeah, they're way expensive as well. De Rossi is 39,000. Ibrahimovic is 150. Why, why are they so expensive? It's crazy. It's, it's legitimately crazy, the, the pricing right now, dudes. I, I would I would rather, to get an 83 rated team, I'd rather use like a Driussi and Gelson Martins or wait until the player prices come down. But the player prices aren't coming down of these. i tell you what I'd honestly rather do is miss out on Sané. Because to get an eight, like how much how much has Foot been saying Sané costs? Um, where is Sané? Forty thousand coins. No, thank you. For a player that I will. So here's what's frustrating. First and foremost, I will not use Sané. So for forty thousand coins, I don't want to do him. The only thing that is interesting to me is whether or not you might need a footies winner for a future SBC and I wouldn't want to give up Butland or Smalling or like Luke Shaw or anything like that Sané would be one that I would happily give up but I do not want to give up I don't want to do it for 40,000 coins I would much rather save my coins and go and buy a team in the season of Alexis Sanchez and spend 40,000 coins on Leroy Sané and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do Sané. I'm not doing him. I apologise to those of you that might have looked forward to me doing him. But I'm not doing him. How much is Carrasco selling for? We're going to sell this club out, dudes. 6,200 coins for Carrasco. Let's go. We'll list him up 6,500. I think, isn't Giroud like 5,000 coins as well? Giroud is just a, a disgusting price right now. 5,000 5, coins for Olivier Giroud. Mental. So 83 rateds in general are probably going for about four to 5,000. So really is probably about 4,000 coins. Yeah, 3,500, 4,000 no bin. Uh, we'll pop them up for 4,000 coins. Uh, let's go. I'm, I'm literally just going to go and look at all of these, all the players in my clubs, dudes. All the players. I'm up to 600,000 coins now. I, 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 I like this. I like, look at that Henderson and Huth sold. Look at what I haven't sold yet as well, guys. Look at all of these cards that are going to sell for a lot of coins. And look at what I haven't sold. See, these dudes I wouldn't mind using. See, these dudes I can use, right? He's a, he's a thousand coins. I guess I've already got him in the club. I have. And die. I've probably already got in the club. I have. Gelson Mines I've already got in the club. I'll leave these dudes on the trade path for now. Another Mauricio. Gonzalo. Oh, Gonzalez might sell. As an American centre-back that's gold. I will keep him for loyal lads because to get another... Oh, no, he's a Liga MX player. Meh. Um, Boney might be worth a bit. 81 rated. Yeah, 1,500 for him. Bang, we'll pop him off. Uh, is Arslan worth anything because he's German and from Besiktas? We'll list him up for 1,100. We'll get the coins for him. Vern Bloom probably isn't worth anything. Uh, oh no, 850 there. So we'll hold on to Vernbloom for now. Uh, how much are these Movember cards gone up to, if at all? 23. I'm going to hold on to these because I think they're going to be usable today, actually. As you're watching this, these might already be usable. Same as like Blaszczykowski. I bought him for 15,000. He's 18,000. Uh, I bought a few other uh, foot birthday cards. Uh, but we're up to 605,000 coins now, dudes. And let me just go briefly through the rest of my club. Um, first and foremost, we could actually, if, if Valencia's card has gone to a reasonable price, I wouldn't mind selling him. 181, 207. So I bought him for 250. I'll hang on to him for now. Uh, informs are also worth a fair bit right now. 30,000 coins. I'll keep him because I don't know if I'm going to need an inform as well for, uh, for the Lampard Gerard, should they be the ones tomorrow. Kasper Schmeichel I will sell because he's selling for 2,000 coins. Um, 
Krykovia, I can trigger. All the 82s, I guess, are around uh, 2,000 coins. Um, oh, maybe a bit more. 2,800 or so for Krykoviak. We'll pop him off for two, 208. And you might be thinking, what are you going to do with these coins? Well, we've already got enough in the club pretty much to complete Gerard and Lampard. Okay? Um, because of the red cards and the team of the season untradeables that I've got, we've pretty much got enough in the club for Gerard and Lampard. I'm just going to list all... Well, actually, I want to check these, just in case they are worth more than uh, 2,500 on some of them. Or less than 2,500 for some of them. Um... Yeah, we're going to do Gerard and Lampard tomorrow, or as as you're watching this today, now, you know, is, is done. Um, I also want to improve, I, I want to buy one, why is Marquinhos three and a half thousand coins? I don't care why, just sell him. Uh, I also want to improve, not improve, but I want to buy a marquee player, one more marquee player. And I think I want it to be either Team of the Season's Latan or team of the season Alexis Sanchez and we spoke about this before um, I'll, sh I'll show you the team very briefly one second let me let me let me sell all of these players three and a half thousand coins for Kovacic just mental dudes it's mental these player prices are off the charts right now two thousand coins for Fernandez I mean, I, I could sit here all day selling. This video is nearly 30 minutes long. I, I can't believe, I literally can't believe we packed the legend, Carragher, and then discarded him. How hilarious is that? McCarthy can go. He'll be, uh, I'll list him up for 2,400 as well. We're up to 6, 613,000 now. See, Shatov probably won't be worth much. Yeah, so it, it looks like the 80, 81s are worth 2,000 unless they're for a big club. Uh, or a marquee matchups club. So Theo Walcott is 2,500. Uh, Bartra will probably be 2,500 too. Yeah, Bartra is also 2,500. Uh, Camacho might also be 2,500. Carrick might also be 2,500. Yeah, Camacho as well. Um, Carrick as well, I'm certain, will be 2,500. Now, the rest of these dudes I'll probably keep, right? The 80s I don't think uh, will be worth too much. The 81s still might be worth a bit. So the eight, all the 81s are 2,000. So uh, I'll happily sell them for 2,000 each. Uh, Luke Shaw might be worth a bit. And Perotti as well. I don't know what our marquee matchups. So marquee matchups are Bayern Milan, Barcelona Juventus, PSG Spurs, Real Madrid and Man United. So Milan here. Oh wait, is it AC Milan or is it Inter Milan? Probably AC Milan, right? Yeah, he's only 1,300 coins. Roma wasn't there, so Man United was there. So Luke Shaw would be worth at least two to 3,000. Yeah, 2,500 coins. Uh, we'll get rid of him. Um, none of those are marquee matchups. Rafinha will have some value because Barcelona. So Rafinha is also maybe 3,000 coins there. Uh, Ashley Young will sell as well. So, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll go, I'll go through the clubs specifically. So, Ashley Young, only 2,000 coins for Ashley Young. That's interesting. Let's just do it the easy way. So, for Premier League, um, Spurs and Man United. So, we've got Nkudu. So, he'll be worth something, at least. 2,000 coins, maybe 1,500 coins. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, Spurs and Man United are the, the Premier League ones. So Rojo might be worth a little something as well. Look at that. Like, literally going to get like 1,500 coins for Rojo as well. Um, that's Man United and Spurs. And PSG is the next one. Paris. Nothing sellable there. Um... Bayern from uh, Calcio A, we've got Milan. Milan. Nothing from Milan. And Juventus. Um, Juventus. Wow. Lamina. Obviously, Neto is untradeable, so Lamina will sell. 2,400. 
Like, Lamina looks like he's like three and a half K. That's mental. So Lamina for for three and a half K. Um, Juventus done, Paris done, Spurs done, Bayern done, Milan. Oh no, Bayern next. I don't, I don't. I didn't have any Bayern players anyway. Just this one dude. He is 2,000, what? He's bronze, people, he's bronze. Um, and then it was Real Madrid and Barcelona as the other two. Let's see what we had of those. So the rest of the, um, the rest of the cards I've got. Hey man, if people, are, if people are willing to pay stupid coins for these players, I'm willing to sell them. Um, the rest of the cards that we've got, we'll keep hold of for SBCs one way or another. We've got nothing for Real Madrid that we can get rid of. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep hold of for one way or the other, right? 11 more items are sold. I've got so much more to sell as well. Look at that. That is mental. These cards are selling. And then look at all what we've still got to go. There's at least another 100,000 coins here, dudes. Maybe maybe 60 to 80,000 coins, but I, I, I guess I'd say about 100,000. We'll keep the rest of the cards for now, right? We've gone from 350,000 to 625,000. We've made nearly 300,000 coins right here today on the nose, right? What I plan to do, because this is going to be my team uh, for this weekend league, this is how it's going to start. Um, everyone will get 10 chem except for Alonso, Lampard and Gerrard will be on 8 chemistry, right? And then in game, I'm going to switch this team to a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. And what's going to happen is Gerard and Lampard are going to be the outside midfielders. Xavi Alonso is going to be the uh, the CDM. And the attack is going to be Son and Eriksson. And because I like the big man, I'm tempted to try and get Zlatan Ibrahimovic team of the season. Maybe use this one for now. But I, before I was using Son and Icardi and Son was the big man in that instance because he's six foot tall. So I may well be tempted to instead go and get Alexis Sanchez team of the season and have Son, Eriksen and Sanchez as my strikers and maybe make Eriksen as the second striker and Sanchez as the cam. Um, it literally depends. Like we are so close now. What have we got? We've got 625, three more have sold. We can get 200,000 for, um, look at that, that's crazy. We can get 200,000 for Valencia which will put us up to 830, give or take. And let's say there's 70,000 coins more here. That puts us up to 900,000 coins. I can afford Alexis Sanchez for, for 900,000 coins. I didn't think I'd be able to get him. I said, literally said in the last video, there's no, you know, it will be a struggle for me from now on to get the Alexis Sanchez that I want. But it actually won't be. There's only six on the market, but he is... 8.95. I could easily afford, or I could afford, I couldn't easily afford, but I could afford Alexis Sanchez if I sold Valencia and what else is left to sell and use him instead of that Zlatan Ibrahimovic. What do you guys think? He's only 5'7 and he's only got a three-star weak foot. Failing that, um, the other players that we could go for would include... Uh, basically, a pre I need a basically a Premier League striker to go in there, right? The Premier League player has to, it has to be a Premier League player. I don't want Kane. I've got Lukaku. I've got Hazard. I could get team of the season Mane. He's also short, but might be quite fun to have. Uh, I could go and get team of the season De Bruyne to go in at Cam and then put Eriksen up front. Um, I could go and get team of the season Costa, who I don't know if I would want. Uh, I didn't like his other cards at striker, so I don't know if I'd enjoy that one at striker. And that's pretty much the only options we've got. Um, Costa at 6'2", though. Medium high, high medium work rate, sorry. Four-star weak foot. I don't know, dudes. I'm, you know what? You know what? Let's get Costa for this weekend league. I'm not going to be... Try I, I, I don't even know if... I, I don't know about trying hard or not. I don't even know if I'm going to be really taking this weekend league seriously at all, to be perfectly honest. 236, 234, 235. Um... What are his actual shooting stats before I decide what thing? Yeah, you know, you know, what's crazy is, dudes, I would actually probably prefer Hunter on him just to get that uh, long shot boost. Or maybe even Hawk. No, I, I want the 96 pace. Catalyst might be better. Catalyst boost is curve up. Yeah, Catalyst would probably be better, actually. Um, 
for 230 I could get this Costa cards. Is there any in here? Just that one for 220 And play this. I would actually prefer the one at cam as well because I would need to come it would need to start as a cam for me. So that one that was a cam at 234. This one. I, I'll take this. I'll take this. Um I don't necessarily want a hunter card, but catalysts are quite cheap anyway. So we're gonna buy this Costa. He's gonna go in our team this weekend league, and we're gonna test out. Um, we're gonna test out whether or not he is gonna be a a, a a usable striker for me. You know, you, theoretically he should be decent because Lukaku works for me, so Costa should too. Um, so we're gonna get rid of Ibra, and we're gonna be putting in Costa for Ibra. <clears throat> so Costa has flat out better stats. The only thing Costa doesn't have is the four star skill moves. Uh, but he does have the four star weak foot. High medium work rates. Six foot two inches tall. He will be my big man up front. So what we'll do is we'll start with a four triple two. Boom. Like so. Um, Costa will start over there. Ooh. No, we can't. I was going to say maybe there's an opportunity to get Alonso to 10 chem now with Costa. But there's not because I can't get Costa to 10 chem as well. Because I can start Costa there and do that. Then Ericsson is fine, Son is fine, but then it would be Alonso would be on 10 chem, but then Costa, Gerard and Lampard wouldn't be on 10 chem, which sucks. Well, I could start it like that, and then Alonso isn't where he needs to be for chemistry. So yeah. Um, so we'll start, we'll start like this. Everybody will be on 10 chem, with the exception of Lem Lampard, Gerard, and uh, Alonso on 8 chemistry, which I'm fine with, and then we'll change in game. And this is going to be my second team for the weekend league, and this, of course, my main squad is going to be still the main team for the weekend league. This is still the main team. Uh, when we compare Lukaku, who for me is a monster, look at that, 152 goal contributions, 125 games. I, I rate that, right? Uh, when we compare Lukaku to Diego Costa, you're looking at Costa has better physical, better defending and better dribbling by one, worse shooting and worse passing by one, and then much less pace. But he has the hunter chem style instead of the uh, anchor chem style or, or what is, engine or hawk or whatever. Um, so the pace is actually going to be very similar. The reason why I didn't like Costa's player of the month card as a striker because he just wasn't agile enough. So it'd be interesting to test him out to see if his agility is different here. And that is going to be the two teams. And if I like Costa, he stays. And we can build up towards another massive player because we've got so many damn coins. And if I don't like Costa, he goes. And we go and buy Alexis Sanchez. And off the back of that, I'm very tempted to sell. I don't need to sell anything. I don't need to sell anything and lose coins. I'm happy to keep Valencia on a 50k loss for now if his price goes up for whatever reason. Um, that'd be great, but yeah, 400,000 coins. And and what the, what is likely to change in that second team uh, actually is the left back. I am almost definitely going to switch out Alonso for the footies winner, whoever it may be. The footies winner is going to go here instead because they will have better stats for defensive-minded players than Alonso. Um, maybe then, if we do that. No, see, it's still, we still can't get chemistry out of this because I don't have enough English players. Yeah, that's sad. That's sad. But yeah, so basically the, the footy shore is going to go at left back. And that is going to be the team bros. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so amazing. I can't wait to play with it. I can't wait to use it. This is going to be the end of the video though, dudes. If you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like rating, subscribe to my channel, and uh, comment if you haven't already. For now, guys, I'm out. Peace.